2023 has been a year of exploration and a lot of discoveries. When it comes to so in Madagascar, it has been a very new project to us, um, even though we have engaged in the, re in the region for a very long time. In our team, we strive to make steps towards decolonization of the research by making the right decisions at every stage of the project. We question a lot our role as a researcher and what is the purpose of us being in the solutionscape and what is the reason and what is, what is our agency and how we build the partnership, partnerships. And sometimes during the field work, although it is tempting to dive into data collection and get on with the agenda, a lot of time is spent or is dedicated to understanding how our local partners work and understanding how we work, understanding the cultural differences. And that plays a huge part in ensuring the fieldwork is successful. As we're not trying to go in and out, we want to build local capacity. On the other side, I think the interview process for the project was highly interesting and very, very steep learning curve. We spent a lot of time designing how we're going to conduct the interviews spatially. What is the choreography and architecture of the space? Where are they conducted? And that was one of the key parameters for me that was the fundamental part of the research, that we have to pay attention to every single aspect of our field work, how we engage with the context, how we engage with people. We wanted to hear their stories. We want them to build their own narratives rather than dictating our own. The outputs for values of so in Madagascar are very varied and are still being defined. From a scientific point of view, we are collecting um, quantitative data on measurements of soil, such as soil fertility, the composition of the soil, what nutrients we have in soil, it would, at what concentrations. At the scientific level, that presents quite a unique data set um, that can serve as a baseline for future projects, for future measurements. On a qualitative level, understanding traditional knowledge and ways of belonging with soil, what values soil holds to local community, that is at the core of qualitative data that we're trying to gather and analyze. So it is a very broad project, but at the same time, it is trying to bring together perhaps two different knowledge systems and provide unique insights which have not been brought together previously.